Now to a Target 12 investigator's exclusive deadly direction. It's hard. It's days where all she wants is cry. <laughs> and I want to do the same thing with her, but I have to be strong for her. A family changed forever after a drunk driver went the wrong way on a local highway, taking the lives of a young mother and father. Rhode Island has installed technology to try and prevent these tragedies from happening again. Tonight, we examine if they're working. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with exclusive details. In 2015, the state installed several wrong way detection systems, but for one family, it was months too late. That changed my life. Forever. In April 2015, Lisette Sical was awakened in the middle of the night by a knock at the door. Two state troopers told her that her daughter Tiffany was in an accident. Sical rushed to the bedroom to get dressed. To go to the hospital to see my daughter and they told me, sorry ma'am, she's dead. What was that moment like? <laughs> the worst pain that you can ever imagine. Tiffany Sakal and her soon-to-be husband, Brian Rodriguez Solis, left behind a five-year-old daughter, Jaylene. This is the young family celebrating Jaylene's birthday months before the crash. Happy birthday to you. How you tell a five-year-old that the mother and the father died? I didn't have the strength to do that. This is Jaylene today. Lisette says she is a spitting image of her mother. If I didn't have Jaylene, I don't think I could survive something like this. We want to save, save lives and reduce crashes. Shortly after the crash that killed Tiffany and Brian, the Department of Transportation installed 24 wrong-way driver detection systems. This is video of a driver being alerted. They are going the wrong way, lights flashing when the car triggers the system. It also notifies the Traffic Management Center, where workers call the state police if the driver fails to heed the warnings. Stephen Prestawa is the state traffic safety engineer. Is it working? It is. It, it's, we've had very good success with it. So when, when I see a wrong way driver on um, correcting, um, there's a good chance we just save a life. A Target 12 review of wrong way crash data shows between 2008 and 2015, there were 91 wrong way drivers, resulting in 34 crashes and 13 fatalities. In the seven years since the detection systems were installed in May 2015, there has been just one crash and zero fatalities from ramps equipped with the warning system. At ramps without the warning system installed, there were five crashes and one fatality. Prestawa says of the 400 ramps statewide, they targeted the ones that that had the highest rates of wrong way drivers. There are now 29 systems statewide. And how often do they go off of the people going the wrong way? I would say probably about four or five times a month. Among the ramps that received a detection system was the one Joel Norman used when he got on Route 6 heading in the wrong direction. His blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit when he struck and killed Tiffany and Brian. He does help. Sikal says she hopes the system save lives, but worries they're not enough. If you are so intoxicated and you're not making good decisions, the system might not work. The system might not work. <laughs> yeah. Bravo! Joel Norman is scheduled to be released from prison in 2024. Coming up new at 6, what else Sakal says needs to happen to prevent fatal drunk driving crashes. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. Now another Target 12 investigators exclusive deadly direction. A statewide wrong way driver detection system has reduced the number of crashes and fatalities in recent years. But the mother of one victim who was killed seven years ago tells Target 12 Rhode Island is falling far short in preventing drunk driving deaths. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. The data shows these wrong way detection systems are working and likely saving lives, but one mother I talked to says Rhode Island's drunk driving laws are broken. Happy For five-year-old Jaylene Sakal, it was a happy day. Happy birthday. Spending her birthday with her family, her mother Tiffany sitting beside her. Then just months after this video was shot, tragedy. That's the worst day of my life. 
Tiffany Sakal and her fiancé, Brian Rodriguez Solis, were struck and killed by a wrong-way driver on Route 6, leaving Jaylene without parents. Tiffany's mother, Lisette Sakal, says for years, Jaylene struggled with what happened to her mom and dad. All she knew was that mommy and daddy went to heaven, and she was she wasn't going to be able to see them anymore. Joel Norman, the driver of the car that killed Tiffany and Brian, was drunk. He was ultimately sentenced to 12 years in prison, followed by three years of home confinement. Including credit for good behavior, Norman is scheduled to be released from the ACI next year. Sakal says Rhode Island's drunk driving laws need to come with far stiffer penalties. Murder is when you take a gun and you shot someone. Mm -hmm. But what is it when you take a car and you are drunk and you go and hit someone? To you, that's murder. To me, it's the same thing. And so the punishment should fit should that be crime. the same. Yes. Rhode Island has since tried to address one aspect of the crash, installing more than two dozen wrong-way detection systems on highway ramps throughout the state, including the one Norman got on going the wrong way. The system has a incoming radar which picks up the vehicle as they approach the, from the wrong direction. When that trigger goes off, the signs start flashing. Stephen Prestawa is the state traffic safety engineer. He says they targeted highway ramps that were high risk for wrong way drivers. We want to save, save lives and reduce crashes. And the numbers are bearing that out. And the numbers do bear that out. A Target 12 review of wrong-way crash data shows between 2008 and 2015 there were 91 wrong-way drivers resulting in 34 crashes and 13 fatalities. In the seven years since the detection systems were installed in May 2015, there has been just one crash and zero fatalities from ramps equipped with the warning system. It does help. Sakal says she is grateful the new system may save lives, but wonders if it would have made a difference with her daughter, with Norman's blood alcohol level twice the legal limit. But if you are so intoxicated and you're not making good decisions, the system might not work. The system might not work. Pristawa tells me there are 29 wrong way detection systems on Rhode Island's 400 ramps, and they plan to install more. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.